Budgie is a little helicopter. He is brave, a little hero. Budgie and friends are always working hard together. Pimp and Chuck and Lionel in a new adventure. Budgie! Rockets in the rotors. Oh. Budgie's a little helicopter. He is nifty. Look at him go with Budgie. The little helicopter. At Harefield Airfield, there have been two new arrivals in one day. First Pippa, the little single-engined monoplane, and then the big twin-engined helicopter, who was just introducing himself to the others in the hangar. Yep, so I guess you can call me Chuck, cause uh, that's my name. <laughs> well, I'm Lionel, the aircraft in charge, and... Aircraft in charge, eh? Okay, Captain. Yes, sir, Captain. <laughs> uh, not Captain Lionel, if you don't mind. <clears throat> and this is Pippa. She's new here, too. Hi, girly. Girly? <laughs> and this is Budgie. Budgie, eh? Like the little bird. What? <laughs> well, little bird, guess you won't have a lot to do now that I'm around, because I'm the new muscle here. Listen, I can... We'll all have lots to do. Uh, Chuck, especially tomorrow. Tomorrow, huh? Uh, what's with tomorrow, Captain? Lionel. Tomorrow? Ah, oh, well, it's an annual event in Harefield. Every year about this time. Call Lucy. My arms are dropping off carrying these things. Mine too. But it's worth it. I can't wait till tomorrow. I love the Harefield freight. Yeah. Remember last year? Throwing wet sponges at the headmaster was best. And the Wheel of Fortune. I won that boomerang. And hit poor old Fergus behind the ear with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lucy, can't we have a rest? Oh, all right. Just for a minute. <gasps> Whoa! Ow! Ow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> so, is everyone clear? Pippa will be doing some simple aerobatics, loop the loop, and flying upside down. She's good at that. I shall be organising things here, so Budgie will have control in the air. All right? Yes, fine. Uh, all right. Then I'll join Budgie and we'll carry a large banner between us which will say, Welcome to Harefield Feet. Uh, <clears throat> I think we're missing something here, Captain. It's not Captain, it's Lionel. I didn't hear the name Chuck anywhere around. Well, you have only just arrived, Chuck. And I didn't think that... Oh, well, the folks would get a real kick out of seeing me. Hey, how about I pick up something real heavy? I don't think that... How about I pick up that baggage truck of yours and fly it over the crowd? Not any joystick, absolutely not! No weightlifting, no baggage truck, no flying over the crowd! Aw, oh, do me a favor, Captain. Your rotors are far too big. They, they, they blow the show to bits, all right? But, Captain... He could fly around the outside of the field, Lionel. Then the, uh, folks could see him. Yes, good idea. Yes, thank you, Budgie. I'll decide what he can do. You can, um, uh, you can fly around the outside of the field. Then Budgie gives the word. All right? Oh, okay, Captain. And one final thing. I want you all looking spick and span tomorrow. So last thing today, wash and polish. Oh. Pepper, eh? She's a friend of mine, Del. She's new here. Mm, it was you two mucking about that made me crash into Smokey, the fire engine. Yes, I'm sorry about that, Del. We were having an argument about who was the best flyer. Oh, and who is? He she is. is. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you settled it. Pippa's doing some more aerobatics today. And Budgie's carrying a banner with Lionel. Yeah, well, I'll try not to look then, in case I run into the cake store. I say, is this the way to the village fade? Yes. It's just through the gate. You flying machines have made it very muddy. That's not us. It's the tractor, carrying tents and tables. Just look at my tires. It's bound to be muddy. Farmer Hayes' duck pond's on the other side of that hedge. I can't think what Colonel Dabchick will say. He polishes me every day, you know. Oh, I thought your nose looked shiny. I beg your pardon? Nothing. 
I should be outside the tea tent by now. I am on display. I suppose you two are the entertainers. Sort of. I'm Budgie, and this is... Is my hat on straight? Oh, yes. And the feathers are lovely. <clears throat> feathers? Feathers? What feathers? Well, we'll have to go and get ready for the, uh, entertainment. I say, wait a moment. <laughs> I want to know what feathers. Come back here. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, beautiful cakes, Mrs. Kitchen. Oh, thank you, Vicar. Come along, come along. Try your luck on the lucky wheel of fortune. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the peak of the afternoon's entertainment. A flying demonstration by the planes of Harefield Airfield. And can I also remind you that there's another splendid piece of machinery for you to admire outside the tea tent in the shape of my 1933 Barchester Tourer, an extremely rare model of which only 85 were ever made. Keep it stretched tight, Buddy. Okay. Look, Ben, here they come. Yeah, it's Budgie and Lionel. Terrific! All right, Budgie. Fine. Stand by. Budgie to Pippa. Stand by for the underpass. Over. Pippa to Budgie. Standing by. Keep it steady, Lionel. OK, Pippa. Go, go, go. Hey! Here she comes. Look at that. Nice one, Pippa. Did you see that? And here she comes again. Here she comes, Lionel. Very steady. Understood. Yeah! Lionel to Pippa. Follow well done. Yeah. Chuck's turn now, Budgie. Let me sign of him. I'll call him up. Budgie to Chuck. Stand by for your demonstration. Chuck to Budgie. OK, kid. No problem. And now, after the aerobatics, Sheer power as the twin-engined Chinook helicopter flies round the field. Cool, Lucy. It's huge. And noisy. Good hell. He certainly looks impressive. Yes, but he's supposed to stay outside the field. What? Oh, no. Budgie to Chuck. Stay outside the field, Chuck. Outside the field. Ah, come on. No problem. The folks are loving it. Gosh, what a wind. It's like a hurricane. for a week. But, Captain, I... And if you call me Captain just once more, you'll be grounded for a month. Okay, Captain. Uh, 
Lionel. Oh, sir. He did mean well, Lionel. And he is new round here. He was jolly well told what to do, and he didn't jolly well do it. He's grounded, all right? Yes, yes Lionel. Lionel. Twenty sets of music, a ruined car roof, the vicar's suit covered in cream, and Farmer Haynes going ducks about his bananas. Um, it, bananas about his ducks. Absolute ballad income. Gee, thanks for speaking up for me, you guys. That's all right, Chuck. Yes. I guess I made a mess of things, didn't I? Well. But I bet I was the strongest thing there. <laughs> what do you say, budgie, old buddy? Oh, all I can say is, uh, quack, quack. <laughs> 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 <laughs>